Well, it is an extraordinary look into the mind of a genius. The traveling exhibit, Da Vinci's Machines and Robotics, opens this weekend at Cranbrook, and it is something to behold. So, we sent Paula Tutman out for a first look. So, obviously, these are reproductions, but they're crafted from the drawings of Leonardo da Vinci. The actual exhibit opens Saturday at the Cranbrook Institute of Science, and indeed, yes, it is part art exhibit, part incredible walk through imagination. A lot of work is being done to get the exhibit ready. Interestingly enough, many of the drawings are guiding the way. Exhibit's constructor, Gwen Lindsay, goes up on a scissors lift to set a simple spotlight. So I do a lot of atmospheric work, and as you can see at the moment, lighting in the Da Vinci Machines and Robots exhibit. So I work with systems where you gotta get things up in the air and you don't want to like haul them up there because they're horribly heavy. And he's got a whole lot of things in here with those. A lot of it's not like he did it first, but a lot of it's he did it better. The very machinery she is using would not be possible were it not for the genius of Leonardo Da Vinci. But one of the little things over here is essentially a, a floodlight arrangement. You can see even the sign right there says floodlight. If you added electricity to it, that is essentially what Gwen was hanging from the ceiling. He took the idea of a bearing and put a ring around it. So it provided a better track for the bearing system. Bearings get used everywhere. Um, her scissors lift uh, is on wheels and the wheels have bearings inside. 60 of Da Vinci's drawings are brought to life in an interactive, yes, you can touch it exhibit. And each hand that touches the construction of that exhibit, just the construction so you can experience it, can feel the brilliance of the man. I mean, everybody knows Leonardo da Vinci. Everybody immediately what jumps into their head is the Mona Lisa, which is the most famous piece of art probably in the world. But da Vinci was everything. He was a master painter, but he was an engineer. He was an architect. Did you go to the gym today? Is this little machine right here, which is basically like your um, gym today. Da Vinci saw it 500 years ago. Here you go. You know, I'm now working my legs. Now I'm working out of these uh, butterflies or whatever, so. What I think is so interesting about this is the way that he would take a problem and he would look at it and investigate it and play around with it, try to come up with something, and then maybe it wouldn't work. But he didn't leave it alone. He would just sort of step back from it take a couple breaths, and then he would come around and look at it from a different angle. He thought about flight and was considered by many a madman. He thought about robots long before robotics. He was simply a master. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Thank you so much, Paula. By the way, the exhibit does open to the public tomorrow. Tickets are $8 for adults and only 6 bucks for children and seniors. If you can, check it out.